Hi everybody, welcome to our Science Talks Online April Showers Bring Spring Flowers video. My name is Jennifer from the Muskingum County Library System. Tomorrow is a very special day. Do you know what tomorrow is? That's right, it's Earth Day. So today we are going to be making a special present for the Earth. We are going to be making homemade flower seed balms. So in your kit you will find um, several squares of tissue paper that you get to tear up and also a couple of packets of flower seeds. This is pretty simple. All you will need to provide is a bowl and some water. Now I have a plate here and some gloves because I'm very messy. You may not need those, that's up to you. And let's get started. Okay, everybody, so the first thing you want to do is take about half of the tissue paper that I gave you in your kit and tear it up. If you are just doing this with your own paper, probably need about 10 or 15 squares. Tear it up into little pieces about one inch square, like this. You can use any color you want. We're just going to use all the colors here because we have lots of colors. And it doesn't have to be squares. And tear it all up, this is the fun part. And put it in your bowl. Get some what color is this. Oh, that's right, purple. And a little bit of, we've got blue, we've got orange, green. And we'll put in a little bit of my favorite color, pink. Put a little bit of that up. And you probably only need to tear up a few squares of it, or these are about, I think these are three inch squares. Give you an idea of how much you might need. Okay. And I'm going to put on my gloves just because I'm messy. You don't have to wear gloves to do this if you don't mind that your hands will be different colors. <laughs> so, get your water. I have my MCLS water bottle here. And you're just going to pour in just a little bit because we want to get our paper nice and wet. So you get to mush it and squish it in there. Ugh, that got really wet and it changed colors, didn't it? Maybe we want to add a little bit more paper. Got some black here we can add in. Need some more blue. And you, like I said, these don't have to be perfect squares at all. Just tear, tear, tear. All right, get that really good and gloppy wet. All right, and then we don't want to make a ball just yet. We just kind of want to get it all pulpy and icky. We're definitely doing that, huh? Then you want to take your packet of flower seeds. I always shake them so that they're all at the bottom. And tear it or cut it open. Then you're just going to shake those in there. And we're going to mix them up in there really good. You might have got wildflowers or um, maybe even marigolds. And we have enough, hopefully, to make two balls here. I'll add a little bit more paper. Keep getting it good and squishy wet. Trying to make sure all your seeds are in there too. So you might wanna kinda like wipe the bowl with them. All right, then you take your wad of paper here and that's why I have a plate. You're going to squeeze out the extra water and roll it into a good ball. Then take two more pieces of paper, any colors you want, the full pieces this time, and we're going to just dip them into the water. You don't have to be soaking wet. We're just going to use it to kind of wrap your seed ball here. I'm going to pick out just a couple more seeds, just to make sure we get as many seeds in there as we can. They fell into the water. And give it a nice wrap, and that's just so it holds in all the seeds before you, until you get it planted. Now planting these are very, very easy. All you're going to do is take your seed balm out to your yard, just look for a spot that doesn't have a lot of grass, and just toss it there. Now you want to make sure that it does get some water so make sure that um, if it doesn't rain 
anytime really quickly, you want to go ahead and water it. And actually, I see that I've got a couple of seeds peeking out here. So hopefully you will be getting some pretty flowers from this seed bulb. And like I said, I gave you enough. You should be able to make two of these. Kind of messy, pretty fun, pretty easy though. So we've got our two flower seed bombs here. I ended up getting messy anyway. <laughs> and um, you probably want to let these dry for a couple of hours or maybe overnight before you try to take them outside. Um, and then just stick them somewhere where you don't have a lot of grass and hopefully you will get some pretty flowers. If you do, we'd really like to see some pictures. So please follow us on social media and share your pictures on our Twitter, our Instagram, our Facebook. You can use the hashtag MCLS. We will be coming back for another Science Tots video on May 5th at 10 a.m. That's a Wednesday. So enjoy your flower seed bombs and happy Earth Day. Bye-bye.